Uh, I was thinking last night while I was editing my previous episode about uh, a lot of these episodes are winding up maybe about seven minutes, and some go a little longer, some upwards of ten minutes. And I think that I would like to make these all these episodes under seven minutes. So I'm going to try and be a little more concise going forward, but I want your opinion on that. What do you think? What's the best time frame for these episodes? I think right around seven minutes is good, makes it just around the size of a uh, Bugs Bunny cartoon. Um, I think that would fit nicely with the format, but um, I might even want them shorter than that. Uh, something very, very quick and concise, just enough to get our brains uh, creative energies flowing, get us thinking a little bit outside the box every day. So uh, a couple of weeks ago we talked about games, and of course coming off of MAGFest games was huge. However, um, I was thinking a little bit more about sports. Uh, we did talk about what makes a game a sport, but I'd like to go into that just a little more in depth right now. Um, and what I was thinking was the difference between a game and a sport can be kind of tough to decide because a lot of games require very little physical prowess. And that is kind of what makes them not sports. Super Mario Brothers is in no way a sport. But it does require a bit of coordination. And then there are plenty of sports that require just a bit of coordination and very little physical prowess. Uh, golf, for example. Um, most of that is coordination. Uh, sure, the movements that you're making in golf are nearly full body movements, and then you do have to walk a great deal. Uh, but, um, you know, the way most people play it, they're riding in a cart and drinking beer, um, and they just stand up for a little while. What about bowling? I mean, bowling doesn't require much physical prowess other than the ability to pick up a 6 to 16 pound ball. So, is bowling really a sport? Hard to say. The distinction that I felt was necessary to make was mostly that it requires a deal of physical prowess with coordinated physical activity. Anything in that category could be made a sport. The question is what degree? Because obviously you could describe that as you know, Super Mario Brothers, a competitive game of some kind anyway that, that requires those things. You could use that to describe Super Mario Brothers. Um, and I would say Super Mario Brothers could conceivably count as a sport in there because it's competitive with yourself um, or even with a machine. You go out and you play golf by yourself, you're competing against yourself and you're competing against the course. You play Super Mario Brothers by yourself, you're competing against the game to, to win the game and you're competing with yourself to see how fast you can do it or how perfectly you can do it compared to your last run. But what is that degree? That's where I think the definition really stems. And then I think about the sports that I would play, which were sports like golf, um, but then also uh, I, I didn't care for golf all that much competitively, so I started running track and cross country. And with the, the cross country in particular, the decree of physical coordination you needed was very, very low uh, compared to other sports like baseball or uh, like golf, uh, where basically, you just need to go from point A to point B as quickly as you can. Um, there's very little need for physical coordination in terms of hand-eye coordination. There's no ball catching or any craziness like that. So the coordination physically that you do need to maintain, though, is to be able to uh, stay in a good running form so that you can stay strong throughout the entire race and be as efficient as possible much, much smaller, but then you have a great deal of physical prowess. Your, your heart is pumping the whole time. As opposed to golf, where you don't need a lot of physical prowess. I mean, if, if um, you got two very, very good golfers out competing with each other, and one of them has to uh, walk very, very slowly and stops every 20 feet to rest for a few seconds, that doesn't mean he's going to lose. It might be a slight nuisance, but it does not mean he's going to lose. Whereas if you have somebody doing that in a race, it means they're going to lose. So to what degree do we need to say for sports there is this need? I would say physical prowess, I don't know. That's the line we need to draw. That's what I need your help with. But in terms of uh, coordinated activity, 
uh, any amount of coordinator activity with physical prowess, I think, ought to be good enough. It, even just weightlifting, just the coordination that you need to lift those extremely heavy weights without hurting yourself is good enough. It almost gets to the point where a sport really only needs physical prowess. I don't know. You let me know. What do you think? Does it? Does it not? In any event, have a nice day.